this is a big one, especially when it comes to dry eye for sure. Um, and, and I could go on all day, but let's like pull out a couple of things. So I think a lot of the eyelash trends happening are just not very eye friendly. So let's touch on a few of those, um, eyelash extensions and false lashes, it's very difficult to clean well, you know, and also that will sometimes disturb the lash extensions. And so people are not really wanting to clean in the way that they should. And that's going to lead to buildup of dirt, debris, crusting. So blepharitis, um, and that may lead to frequent styes or, you know, the adjacent meibomian glands, which are those oil producing tear glands, which help with our good quality tears. So I definitely see a lot of eyelid inflammation and blepharitis in those patients. Uh, additionally, not a fan of waterproof makeup. You really have to use more chemical based removers there, which are not friendly to the eye, kind of stripping the natural oils. And, you know, remember your eyelid skin is the thinnest skin in your body. So, so delicate and it really needs special care. Um, and then I'm also very much dislike tight lining, which is drawing over your waterline with your eyeliner, because what you're doing is just drawing directly over the openings of those meibomian glands. So that's going to just clog up the glands and debris on the tear film and inflammation. Um, permanent eyeliner is down the line harmful to those meibomian glands, kind of shrinking them up over time, leading to chronic dryness. Also just general like powder based eyeshadow with glitter, especially in it. I have actually pulled embedded glitter out of people's eyes. So you really want to be cautious with that kind of thing and just powder ending up in your eye, um, prostaglandin based lash serums, especially for those with dry eye can be very irritating to the skin and the surface of the eye. And then I think just to touch a little bit on sort of skincare, there are many, uh, basically eye creams with retinol in them over the counter. But really with retinol, you want to stay like on the bony border around your eye and not coming into the really fine eyelid skin, because that is also not good for those meibomian glands. So I think there are so many things that we're all doing every day, you know, without thinking about the health of your eyes and the surface when you're doing that. 